Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News Update. We lost three more iron brothers and sisters this past week in the bodybuilding world. Uh, I want to start with uh, one who was a friend of mine, uh, Steve DeLuca. Uh, Steve was a uh, promoter, probably I think the youngest promoter of a national level show back in the 90s when he promoted the uh, teen and collegiate nationals. Uh, just recently I had him on my uh, RX Muscle after hours TV show and we were having fun. He was telling stories from the old days when he promoted shows and all the bodybuilders he knew up in the New England area. You know, he was a very good bodybuilder himself as a teen. And I've known him for probably 30 years and I got a call from his dad the other day and unfortunately they found him uh, in the bathroom, passed away. Of, seems like it more likely than not was a heart attack uh, there's no details yet. Obviously, there'll be an autopsy performed. Um, I, you know, I talk to the guy practically every day. If it wasn't on the phone, it was via text. He was a very successful businessman. He was very, you know, he loved his boats and his cars and uh, his expensive Rolex watches. You know, that was just his, his thing that I always knew him for. And, and he had just come over to my house like a month ago because he, I finally convinced him to move from Connecticut down to uh, Florida. He was on the other coast in West Palm. But, uh, you know, he would come over here uh, every so often and uh, say hello. And once again, he, was, he wanted to become a regular on the TV show. He was really into, like, you know, talking about, you know, bodybuilding and the history of bodybuilding and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, I know he's smiling upon us right now, but uh, Steve, you're going to be missed by a lot of people. Also, uh, the next uh, death in our industry I found out about uh, through a friend of mine. I didn't know Darren Steen very well, but... You know, from what I learned about him, he was a very successful football player. He made it, I think, I believe as far as the uh, Chicago Bears camp. He was trying to become a professional football player. He uh, didn't make it past there, and then he kind of redirected his himself towards bodybuilding. He was a 100% natural bodybuilder for life. He really, you know, was a great coach and motivator, and, and a lot of people were touched by, you know, his wisdom and all the stuff that he did, and he... He had a great physique. I mean, if you look at the pictures of him, I mean, the guy obviously lived the lifestyle. And you know, those are the guys that I can completely respect because they put everything they got into training and eating right and taking the right supplementation. And you know what? I always say, when, you, when the time clock ticks and you're done and that's your last tick, there's nothing you can do about it. And from what I understand, he had a hemorrhagic stroke. Those are something that, you know, you can go from one minute being perfectly fine, the next minute you're not here anymore. You know, a vessel is weak in your brain. Could be a genetically inherited thing. I don't know, you know, what the reason was. And uh, he passed, unfortunately, and uh, we want to send prayers out to his family as well. And then the third person that um, our industry lost was uh, Rhonda Lee Quaresma, who was a former women's bodybuilder. Uh, I think she did a figure show back in the day too as well. Um, I've had her on my RX Muscle TV show back, you know, when we first started RX Muscle and, you know, in the middle years as well. Uh, she was, you know, someone who just loved the bodybuilding lifestyle, always trained, you know, always was trying to, you know, make her physique better. And she hadn't competed for years. So um, from what I understand, she had uh, stage four colon cancer. And she, uh, she documented it pretty well on her Instagram. If you go on her Instagram, you can see the fact that um, she talked about her bowel movements had been a little off. And so she went and got checked out. And she, she didn't even know. I mean, she had a very advanced stage of colon cancer. And she'd been battling it for two years. And unfortunately, we lost her as well. I know she was good friends with uh, Denise Messino and uh, Michelle Brent. And she'll definitely be missed by all her friends and family. And you know, these are, you know, people always say, oh, people from the bodybuilding world are dying because of bodybuilding. No, this is, the, unfortunately, these three events were, were probably unrelated to COVID or, or bodybuilding. It's just life. And we, in life, we're going to lose people from all industries of life. And uh, I think all we can do is cherish their memories and celebrate their lives and say a prayer for them and their families because the families are the ones that are really going to be mourning over these next, you know, days, weeks, and months. And I hate doing these um, these messages, but I think it's important to put it out there and to, to, to honor them and celebrate their lives. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.